Before heading out, make sure that the vessel has been serviced and is in good working order. As well, make sure that you have the adequate supply of oil and fuel on board for the planned voyage. A handy tip for never running out of fuel is one third for the trip out, one third for the trip back, and one third in reserve. The trip plan. The objective of the trip plan is to facilitate search and rescue in case of distress or no return. It shall include the following information. Name and number of the pleasure craft. Whether the pleasure craft is a sailing or power driven craft. Name, address and telephone number of the owner. The number of people on board. The size, type and color of the pleasure craft. The engine size and type etc. Before heading out, the operator of a pleasure craft should complete the plan with the necessary details in order to assist in initiating a call for search and rescue in case of emergency. File the plan with a responsible person who is familiar with what instructions to follow in case of that emergency. If you change your itinerary and decide to come back to port earlier than planned, inform that person who has a trip plan so that that person will not inadvertently start a search and rescue operation. It is therefore very important to close a trip plan when you're done. If you plan on leaving Canada to enter U.S. waters, you are strongly advised to check the requirements of U.S. homeland security. Rules and regulations can change on very short notice for pleasure crafts, and it is advisable to gather all the necessary information before leaving Canada. It is also important to check the nautical charts of the boating area if they exist. They allow you to know where the overhead obstacles, bridges, and underwater cables in the boating area are located. Weather and water conditions play a big role in your safety on the water. Before heading out, make sure you get the latest forecast for your area and that you understand what it means. Environment Canada provides marine forecasts in many ways if you have a marine radio, you can get the weather updates while you're on the water. These forecasts provide information on wind speed and direction, weather, visibility, and freezing spray if applicable. Forecasts are issued several times a day.